Wonderful Asian flavors in a super easy chicken recipe. Minimum effort, maximum flavor. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, a home cook, bringing you simply delicious food ideas. I'm always looking for simple ways to make dinner. And this is one of them. When you have the basic ingredients at home, making dinner is a cinch. One of my favorite ways to cook chicken is to marinate it ahead of time, put it on a sheet pan and throw it in the oven. We're gonna start with the marinade and I am using some aromatics that will go into the marinade. I'm gonna show you how to peel a piece of ginger. So this is enough. I'm only using about two teaspoons-ish. And if you use the back of a knife or even a spoon, you can just scrape off the skin very easily. You don't have to scrape up the skin if you clean it really well. But I just thought I'd show you a little tip today. Actually, I have lots of tips today. I'm gonna to use the grater to grate the ginger right into the bowl that I'm going to put the marinade in as well as the chicken. And I'm using a grater because I find that it gets it much finer the way I like it. I can't seem to chop it fine enough with a knife. So that's about two teaspoons. It's totally up to you. If you don't like ginger, you can omit it altogether. If you like a lot of ginger, you can add more. For the garlic, an easy way for me to peel the garlic is to just smash it with a hammer. I don't use my hands anymore because I find like my hands are getting sore from maybe just aging. I don't know what, oh, sorry. So we're using about four cloves and see, the skin just comes right off. Easy peasy. If you want, you can use the grater and just grate the ginger into the bowl as well, but I find actually chopping it is easier for me than using the grater because there's quite a few of them. And again, with garlic, you can use as little or as much as you like. All right. Quite a bit of garlic, huh? Yep. I'm using some green onions for garnish. You can totally omit this part, but because I have my cutting board out, I'm gonna chop it up now. These were growing in my garden, believe it or not. I don't know if you were watching last summer, but I was planting the butts of the green onion, the part where all the roots are, and they survived over the winter, which is amazing. And now they've grown little onions from them. Just, God is amazing. Next, we're adding six tablespoons of light soy sauce or regular soy sauce. Two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce will add some color and it's not as salty as regular soy sauce. We are also adding six tablespoons of brown sugar. I know it sounds like a lot, guys, but we're making four pounds of chicken and it's supposed to be a little bit sweet and spicy. You can cut down on the sugar if you want. Totally up to you. And I'm using one tablespoon of gochujang sauce. And gochujang is a Korean spicy, I think it's soy-based um, chili sauce. And you can add as little or as much as you want. The one I have is not too spicy, but that's enough for us in our family. You can totally adjust that as well to your liking. Just wanna stir this up. What I like about the gochujang sauce is that it's um, a little bit sweet, not a lot, but it's also uh, smoky and because it's not so spicy. It depends on the brand you buy because I think there are spicier brands out there. All right, so I bought legs because they were cheaper than buying thighs individually. I think drumsticks might be cheaper than that even, but I don't like drumsticks that much. So when you're cutting them apart, once you find You'll get used to this. Once you find where the joint is, it's easy to find, or it's easy to separate. 
I'm going to put that straight into the marinade. Want to see that again? It's just my cutting board doesn't have enough room, otherwise it's fairly easy. I'm going to use a glove tan because it's easier. Now if you do this the night before or even in the morning of when you get home from work or wherever at the end of the day before dinner, you can just put it on a sheet pan and bake it in the oven. Right? You're going to cover it and put it in the fridge until you're ready to cook it. All right, so I did make a batch earlier today and so it's already been marinating for, well, since this morning. I have a parchment lined pan and we're just going to lay these on there, skin side up. Now the reason why I'm spreading it so far apart from one another is because I'm going to add some cauliflower into the marinade and then also onto the pan so you have a full one pan meal. So before I add my cauliflower, I'm going to add a tablespoon of oil into the marinade that has been left over from the chicken. And then we're going to add our cauliflower. The reason why I'm adding oil is because, well, the chicken has fat on it, but the cauliflower does not. So this will help to roast the cauliflower. And if you guys wanted to just use this recipe for cauliflower, you can totally do that as well, not just for chicken. And don't cut your cauliflower too small, otherwise the roasting time won't work. Your cauliflower might be done before your chicken, but we don't want that. We want everything to be done at the same time. And then we're just going to scatter them around the chicken. It's going to be so delicious because the fat and the juices from the chicken will hit the cauliflower at some point during the cooking. So this is going to be awesome. I am using a, a very big sheet pan here so that it's not super over, well, so that it's not overcrowded and everything is going to cook well and not unevenly. We're putting this in a preheated 425 degrees Fahrenheit oven and we're going to let it roast for about 35 to 40 minutes. Woo, looking good guys. I'm just going to baste the chicken a little bit with this sauce that's in the pan and put it in for another five minutes. Look at that golden skin. Looks so good. All right, it looks so good, guys. So while this was in the oven, I made some rice in the rice cooker. Okay, garnished with some green onions. My plate wasn't big enough to put all of it on there, so there's still some left in the pan. Uh, a lot left in the pan. But there you have it. Are you all ready for the taste? I'm dude, this is the taste. No nonsense because this dish is not gonna eat itself. Juicy, looks tender, and it's gonna go into my mouth right about now. It smells good. Tender. Tasty. All right, let's get another piece of chicken with the skin on. Good. Let's try some of that cauliflower. Cauliflower, tasty, perfectly cooked, and definitely a good call getting into that marinade. So the chicken wasn't as 
um, strong on the gochujang flavor as I thought it would. It looks like it's gonna have that gochujang uh, hit of, of, of heat of the spice, but it didn't. So it was much milder than I anticipated. Overall, it's still a very tasty dish, but if you wanna rock some more heat, pile on that gochujang. Awesome, thanks dude. One pan meals are great. While it was cooking, I was just kind of chilling on the couch and I didn't need to be standing at the stove stirring. For this recipe, check it out on my website, flowlum.com.